We just saw a four window school bus on Interstate 15 and it had a white sign in the windshield and I'm hoping that that sign was for sale. So we're going to go back and take a look and see if we can find it. It's about five miles back and we can't take the interstate to get there so we're going to have to kind of meander our way back. We'll let's, yeah, let's see if we can find it. My name is Tisha. I'm just calling because I noticed your sign on the freeway saying that you guys sell farm equipment and we saw that there was a bus parked out there. We were wondering if the bus is for sale. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, yeah, go, go ahead. Ask away. What, what are the questions? So we, well, we were wondering first what kind of engine it, ha it has, if it's a, a 7.3 or what kind of liter engine it has. Um, it's a diesel. It's a diesel engine. Um, you know, I can let me ask my wife this question. If I know the year, I can tell you the engine. Well, what, what year? What year is the bus? You know the, the cool little shuttle bus down in Benjamin? Eighty? No, oh, it's not an eighty-four. Oh, uh, I, you know, I I don't want to be wrong. So. It's a it's a good little diesel engine. Okay. And if it's a ninety four or ninety six, like I would have guessed, then it. Um, I don't know if they made seven threes then, but it, that's a very good question. I. I guess I should know this. I'm sorry. Um, that's fine. Uh, what else? Do you mind if we go take a look at it? We're right behind the fence that says no trespassing, yeah. and we wanted to call you first. Oh. You're fine. You go ahead and jump the fence. You're fine. Okay, okay. cool. My name is Jamie, and, and that's our number on the phone there. And uh, yeah. how much are you asking for it? I'm looking to get it. Uh, what, what do you want to give? I, I, I got to clear some things out. So what, what's, go look at it, and it should be a price. Okay. All right. Um, we'll take a look. All right. We'll take a look at it and, and get back to you. Thank you. You got it. Thank all right. Thanks a lot. See you. Mm -hmm. Bye. He doesn't okay. know what year it is. Okay, or it's anything, all right. So. We don't know um, how serious he is, and yeah. he wants us to give him a price first because he probably thinks we're going to offer him more than he wants to yeah. ask. Otherwise, you would. If uh, we knew give more price. about it, I'd be able to give him a better price. Like, be able to give him give him an accurate price as to what I think I'd be willing to pay. But well, I'm not really sure. Well, the first thing we do is need to look at the miles on it because according to Jax. You can get these things for two or three thousand dollars all day long with two, three hundred thousand miles on them. Yeah. So that's our that's our starting point. Yeah. Um, and we only have what we have in the uh, GoFundMe, which has to be taken out for attack uh, for go the GoFundMe fees. Yeah. Which is eight percent. So we're probably only looking I at like it was more than that. No, it's eight percent. So we're only probably looking at well, off plus being taxes able to offer the guy nineteen percent total. Definitely 
definitely not from the 80s. It just, you can tell by the, this is probably a brand new sign. You can tell by the fact that the plastic isn't, uh, isn't, uh, what do you want to say, diffused. This is a little bit, so that looks like it's old, but these, these reflective uh, flashers look new. This is 1996. 141,000 miles. What did I say, 14? You said 1,400, yeah. 141,000 miles. This is in pretty good condition. Let's see if we can pop it here. Hold this, please. 1996, that's good, though. Okay. GMC is always good. That's, like, what we know. Now here's the thing, I don't know what a 7.3 liter engine looks like, so unless it says 7.3 on the emblem, you know, I'm not a diesel, I'm not barely even a mechanic, period. We can grab the, the VIN number and look it up. Alright. So this is what it looks like, you guys that know motors can probably already tell what it is, but I can't tell you. The first thing I'm going to look for is, oh, this is off. So let's just put that on. I don't know why that would be off. It's where a mouse could get in there and die. You don't want that. First thing I'm going to look for in a car that's been sitting with the hood not up is uh, I'm going to be looking for a mouse nest. Because if it's got a mouse nest in it, it could have thousands of dollars of repairs uh, from chewed wires that we need to look at. And I'm not seeing any immediately. But that doesn't mean it's in the clear. Another thing we're gonna look at is leaks underneath. This thing's been sitting for a while, so if it's got some leaks, we'll be able to tell. Ideally, it'd be nice to have a piece of cardboard under here so you could find them a lot more easily. Oh my gosh, it's got a hydraulic system for uh, handicap. That really adds to the price of the, of the vehicle and, and it's not something that we want so hopefully that's not a deal breaker for us. But if this is functioning, this adds probably a couple thousand by itself. It looks like there's a blower down there, some kind of heat mechanism that uh, ties to the radiator. There's a wasp, so there could be a wasp nest in here, we need to watch out. It's got pictures of kids' uh, drawings on, on it. so. We know that it was probably used for kids. That was probably the reason that this bus was uh, commissioned. And you've got these hooks here where you can hook somebody in a, in a wheelchair in place. It's not something that uh, we would use, but if, if uh, Tamara wanted to buy a four-wheeler, she'd be able to have a way to lock it in. I don't know if that ramp would work. A motorcycle for sure. I would totally use a wheelchair around. Like, well, I know so you would. Friends. Yeah, I know. I know you would, but um, Man, this is like it's awesome. got a button on the outside. We're not looking for me, though. We're looking for Tara. Look, there's a cat picture. There's more cat pictures on the. Look, look there's a look. wall for something and obey classroom con conduct, be respectful of others, take pride in your ride. She could leave that up. So it does have 141,000 miles on it. And I sure wish that it had a key. We could just see if it would start. It's got fuel in it. Yeah, but then there's the risk of people driving off with it. Well, I understand that. I'm just this asking. This vehicle is I'm just wishing I had what I wanted. With a digital video security system. Where? wonder if it's been taken down. Because that's cool. That's always helpful. A5, it does not have Can AC. You the brakes, see if you get pressure on the brakes, make sure they work at least. I do have pressure on the brakes, but we still have to look and see what kind of... Um, he did say, like, on the phone, he's like, I want to get rid of some stock, is what he was saying, so just give me an offer, so maybe right. he'll accept an offer. Right, like well, we don't know if he paid 800 bucks for it at auction. Yeah, yeah exactly. So... And Maybe we I should come in at 12. Yeah, I worry if we, like, I don't want to lowball him because he'll just flat out say no. and then We don't know what nice. he paid, so we don't want to know what a lowball yeah. is. And then 
if we say 1800, he might ask for more because he sounds like a haggler. He wants right. us to make the, right. the base price. Right. Let's so, uh, let's go back and, and look the, up this vehicle and see yeah. if we can find any for sale and for how much in this mileage range. And I'll ask Jack some questions and see what he has to say about it, and we'll take it from there. Sounds good. All right. So you go out, and I'll close this, and I'll go out the front door. front end probably this is probably uh, the front end of a van or a truck it's not a bus front end all this dashboard and everything I'm talking about and it's a it's a two, two window with a thing and a four window the tires I wonder what the clearance is I don't oh, know that's right if you just use this as the low point it's probably about nine or ten inches but there could be other low points too. It looks about eight or nine feet. It's a four window. Which, that's exactly what Jax was saying is a good choice, right? It was a four window? Yeah. The bottom, it looks like it's a good foot clearance. It's more than my van, and my van's lifted seven and a half inches, seven and a quarter inches. Here I am back with Larry looking at this bus again and what we know about it today is a little bit more because of uh, Larry's experience with it. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it? In the 80s General Motors took a 350 Olds engine and made a diesel out of it. I'm not saying that that's what this is but I do know that their General Motors first diesels wasn't very good diesel engine until they come out with the Duramax which is a very good engine. And if this got one of the older engines in it, which is 92 with 141,000 miles onto it, it's got a battery into it that's completely down to 1.7 volts, so that means you got to replace the battery with it. We haven't even heard it run, the guy wants 25 for it. If this thing was up and running, a good battery, good tires and everything, it might be worth that. But I feel that the truck is only worth about $500 the way it sets, 1000 at the most. Because you don't know what you're buying, you might be buying somebody else's problem. So until we heard it running stuff, we really wouldn't know, and I just don't think this young girl needs to be put into something that we're not very for sure of, and we're not that uh, uh, smarter app, we might say, on the General Motors diesel engine. So that's what I feel about it myself personally. I talked to the guy, and he said that uh, he didn't want less than he said he wanted to start around the $2,500 mark, and he mentioned that he had moved uh, four buses in the last four months, so buses are moving off this spot. You know, we talked to a guy in a other video that had one for sale that said nobody would take it. So maybe him being on the interstate gets him a lot of eyeballs on his, uh, on his bus, and that's how he moves them, or maybe it's just some salesmanship in play. We don't know, but we do know this. The battery that it, ha that it takes, I'll show you, looks just by the sheer size of it just by the sheer size of it it looks like a battery that's going to run three four hundred dollars so now we've got whatever we buy the bus for plus three or four hundred dollars for a battery and uh engine that could be suspicious and larry also pointed out that the, this iteration of uh gmc's diesel is a really tough engine to start in the winter time well Tamara lives in Utah, in Salt Lake, or somewhere around there. She lives in a cold. I mean, you can see the snow-capped mountains in the background here. So, we don't want to put her in a position to fail right out of the gate. If he can get more money for it, you know, all more power to him. But we've only got about 1800 bucks to work with from the GoFundMe. And I wouldn't be more com any com more comfortable than giving him, say, 1000 for it. And it just doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Even at a thousand, we're taking three or four hundred bucks for a battery, and we've got four hundred dollars left for the rest of the build. 
without knowing, you know, how the uh, Amazon wish list is going to go. There's only so much that we can that we can make out of this with that kind of budget. So we're going to go ahead and pass on this one and keep looking.